Hey, Tonio. Hey, you have to be quiet, bro, because we're about to film, okay? Tonio, quiet. You gotta be quiet for like a minute. Hey, I'm gonna take you out. He's gonna take him, he's gonna, he's gonna take him out. What's going on, Fader Culture? My name is Adrian Barone, and we're back with yet another tutorial on this new at-home series. Today, we got my cousin here on the chair, and we're gonna go ahead and give him a four on the sides with a scissor trim on top. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you aren't already, please. And let's jump right into the tutorial. Alright guys, but before we get started, I wanted to remind y'all that the steps for this tutorial will be in the description down below, along with the links to all the tools that will be in this tutorial. And you could use Faded Culture 10 at wall.com to get 10% off on all your wall tools. But alongside with the clipper, a trimmer, we're gonna need two combs, some shears, a small brush, and two guards, along with some clay and disinfectant spray. We're gonna go ahead and begin this tutorial using our number four guard with the lever completely closed. And we're gonna go ahead and comb the hair into its neutral position, which is in a backwards motion. And starting our clipper work all along the sides. And we're gonna drop it slightly as we approach the back of the ear. Just make sure that you are staying easy with the wrist. Take that all around the head and you could always view your client from the front or your relative, whoever hair you're cutting at home. Always view them from the front after you set in your first guideline just to make sure that they align on both sides. And then right after that, with that same guard, we're gonna go ahead and just open up the lever and take it up about a finger's width. And after every few strokes, just make sure that you're recombing that area. This is a very simple gentleman's haircut. And then right after that, to finish connecting the sides to the top, we're just gonna use clipper over comb. This is where we're gonna bring in our wide tooth comb. And for this particular style, just make sure that you are cutting with the grain when we're doing clipper over comb. And that's pretty much it for the sides with the number four. Now as for the top, this technique seems a little complex at first, but I promise you, once you get it down, it's the easiest way to trim the top to make sure that it's all even on the top. So notice at first I did use the wide side tooth of the comb just to run the water through it, and then I use a fine side to make sure that the water's all the way down to the grain. So we're gonna begin by parting out what's called our profile section. And you're gonna see that it's gonna be about as wide as the comb. If you are struggling to part out the hair, it's because you do need to add a little bit more water. And this section right here is going to be used as our guide for our length on top. So go ahead and grab your first section from the front and work your way back. Grabbing a small portion of that previous cut section to use as your guide and just continue working your way back. And once we are done with our first guide, go ahead and recomb it to the back, spray a little bit of more water so we can section it easier. And now we're gonna part it right from the center. So we're basically splitting that profile section right in the middle, and it's gonna be used as our guide, as you can see. As soon as I pull out a section, it's easy for me to just match that profile section. Now we're just gonna work our way front. And it's super simple, and just repeat the same thing on the opposite side.
And once we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and soften up the edges just because I don't want this structure to be so squared. And that's pretty much it for that. Now we're gonna continue with tapering the neckline using our number two guard with the lever completely closed. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up the lever and just finish connecting. If you are easy enough with the wrist, you should not need a three in order to connect the two and the four in this situation. And do the same thing on the temple. And it's beginning to square out our sideburns. I always match it to that little lobe thing. I really don't know what it's called. If y'all can help me out down in the comments below. And start cleaning up around the ear. And since this is a basic haircut that we do at home, we're not gonna be using a straight razor in this situation. So just make sure that you are trimming all that peach fuzz and frizz around the ear with your trimmer. Do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Again, view your client or relative, whoever hair you're cutting at home from the front to make sure that the sideburns align now. And in this case, he wanted his neckline squared, so go ahead and do that. They either always want it squared or rounded. If that's the case, just go ahead and round the edges. And some prefer it fully tapered, but we'll leave it like this for now because fully tapered is a slightly advanced technique. And that's pretty much it for the haircut. Now we're gonna finish it off by styling it, adding a little bit of water before we come in and add our clay. And for this instance, we are using our own Faded Culture matte clay, which you can find at fadedculture.com. Work it all the way in, all the way down to the grain. And there you guys have it. Here are the before and after pictures, guys. Again, I hope y'all enjoyed these at-home tutorials. I hope y'all are taking something new from them. Feel free to share them with your relatives and get down to the practice and let us know in the comments below how y'all like them. As always, guys, my name is Adrian Barone, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.